And welcome to another edition of the UIS Prairie Stars Coaches Show on Campus Channel 65. I'm Tony Black, joined by Marnie Fowser, the women's basketball head coach, and Ben Wearsman, the men's basketball head coach. Guys, your season is starting here in the next couple of days. Marnie, talk about uh, your expectations for this season. Um, well, we expect to go out and hopefully win every game, and you know, that's what we prepare for. Um, but we look to be competitive and to just keep getting better as the year goes on. And Ben, uh, you played the, the same two teams last year, Northwood and Lake State here. Uh, what do you expect from those guys this year? Well, it's going to be a challenge like any game throughout the year. We've got to prepare, go out there and compete for 40 minutes, take care of the basketball. And, and uh, you know, they have some bad feelings from coming down here in the t close games that uh, we take care of. Now we have to go on the road and do the same thing this next weekend. Uh, you're talking about taking care of the basketball preseason and your exhibition games struggled a little bit with that. Uh, talk about uh, how your guys are going to fix that. Well, we just got to slow down. We want to play fast, but play under control while we're running up and down the court. Make the simple play. Don't try to make the spectacular play and, and have fun while you're doing it. And uh, Marty, your uh, preseason game against Western Illinois, very tightly contested. Y your thoughts uh, from that game? Uh, I think there were a lot of teachable moments. Uh, we were in some situations at the end of the first half and at the end of the second half that we can learn from and improve on. Uh, we have to do a better job taking care of the ball, but I thought for our first exhibition, we had a lot of newcomers in their first opportunity playing a college game. You know, there were some real positive things. What were some of the positive things that came out of that? Um, I think we had some moments where we had really good ball movement. Um, we had some defensive stops, really good ball pressure, um, and just doing what we're supposed to be doing on the defensive end. Rebounding has been something we've needed to improve on, and I thought we did a good job on the boards as well. Talk about the, uh, the positives, Ben, that you saw out of your exhibition games. Well, we got better from Southern Illinois to Evansville. Uh, guys competed for 40 minutes. Uh, we went out there and defended, uh, took Evansville out of a lot of things, pressure-wise. Um, we had some guys step up that haven't, you know, we need to step up and, and get some experience on the court, and, and they did that for those, both of those games. Uh, your offensive leader in the preseason games was Kyle Gupton. Uh, what are your expectations for, for him this year? Well, I think like any of the guys is to come in and, and do what's asked of him. Do, you know, compete the whole time you're out there. Play as hard as you can for as long as you can. Uh, Kyle can make shots, and, and that's the one thing he, everybody knows on our team to get in the ball. He can, he can hit the three, but he puts the ball on the floor very well and finishes with both hands around the rim. Uh, but he gives us a, a good threat from the perimeter. Now th this year, Ben, you have uh, three point guards that you're, you're looking at. Uh, the, the experience one comes from uh, Keith, who played a year with you last year, and um, you had your other two. What, what are your thoughts on your, uh, your ball handlers? Well, the, they've been a good challenge every day. Uh, Keith and Kevin and Contrell, the three Ks, we try to get them to push each other every day in practice. And they, they all bring something a little different every day. Um, Keith is, is a little more well-rounded. Kevin is more offensively uh, talented, being able to shoot the ball, but Contrell is uh, very long and defensive. So uh, we got three different options we can go at with uh, any time during the game. And Marty, you're a very guard-oriented team. Uh, what are your thoughts out of your, your guards this year? Um, we look for them to all compete um, and just to be able to play the game. You know, I don't label them or lock them down to one position. I want them to all be able to handle the ball and run and push the ball. Um, so we have high expectations. Our leadership is in our in our guards. And uh, your your post players uh, this year, uh, you got a lot of you got a little taller this year. We did. We added height in this recruiting class, um, but they're young as far as experience, and they're going to need experience to uh, to make some mistakes and to learn from them and to get better every day. But again, they bring rebounding. Uh, they bring some length as far as defensive matchups inside. So we're excited about that. Elizabeth Kelly had a, a standout game against Western Illinois: 20 points, 14 rebounds. Uh, that gets scrapped uh, Friday. But uh, what do you think of uh, Elizabeth's play? Uh, Liz is a she's a great kid and she's uh, very motivating in practice. She's got a great attitude, great spirit about her. Um, she's got great length. She's really long, but she works hard. She goes after everything offensively and defensively and gives you everything she can. So, um, but that's what a lot of our players do. So Liz isn't going to do it on her own. We're all going to have to do it together. But we look forward to it. And Ben, you got a little taller this year. Um, besides Michael Fuquati, you bring in Dylan Sparkman, Jamie Burkhard returns. Uh, Ghazi Umedi, also 6'5". Uh, uh, talk about your height. Yeah, the one thing we needed to add this past year was add some depth and then add some length. And, 
You bring in Dylan Sparkman at 6'10", 265 pounds. He, he's got great touch, runs the floor very well for his size, and he's really come along. Um, Mike Vaquati's had, you know, he had a good year last year, but we expect bigger and better things out of him and just being more consistent, staying out of foul trouble. Uh, Jamie Burkhardt came back. He's got good size to him to help out with those guys inside. Uh, Ghazi Mede has been banged up a little bit here and there, but uh, he's going to compete every day on the offensive glass and the defensive glass. And then Wes Dawson comes in at 6'5", 185, 190 pounds long, uh, can push the ball in transition and you know, he's been on winning teams, won in a junior college national championship, and been on winning teams throughout his career. And you talk about uh, West Dawson, he, he led your team in rebounds in the uh, preseason with seven a contest. Is that what you expect out of him every day, seven rebounds? Yeah, yeah West is going to do everything he has to for the team to win. If it's rebounding, it's guarding the team's best player. If it's uh, pushing the ball in transition, which he's very good at getting a rebound himself and, and getting out and running, he'll do whatever he has to for the team to win. Uh, defensively, uh, you guys stop the three. Is that one of your? Uh, is that one of your defensive minded this year to stop the three? Stop them from scoring. Period. <laughs> but uh, no, we, we've gotten better. We've we've really locked in on defense and tried to focus on our defense from the beginning of the year. And and guys are bought into it, contesting, pressuring the ball everywhere out in the court. And and as soon as the shot goes up, five guys blocking out and going and getting the rebound. And Marnie, uh, you you both open up the home schedule on the 19th of November. Uh, against Lincoln. Um, I know you haven't looked that far ahead, but uh, what, uh, looking forward, what are your thoughts? Um, I think our focus is just taking it one day at a time and just trying to get better us as a team. Um, obviously, we'll start preparing for Lincoln after we get through this Michigan tournament, but I think we just want to show up every day and get better both on the offensive end and the defensive end. And these, uh, these games in Michigan are very important because they are region games, um, and it helps further along in the season if you know making the postseason run so what do, what are your uh, thoughts on the, this year's region uh, well we talked to the team about region games and they are important but at the same time you can't get wrapped up in it because you've got to focus on one game at a time and if you start looking ahead to postseason play you're going to lose a lot of stuff that came before that so our focus is on Northwood and just take it one game at a time you know coaches we understand the importance of it but we don't need the players to be stressed out about having to win or having to lose. I mean, they just need to, you know, do what they're supposed to be doing and minimize mistakes and give you your full effort and, you know, good things will happen. And Ben, uh, Northwood and uh, Lake State were both picked around the middle of the pack of uh, the North Division and the, uh, the GLIAC. Uh, what are your thoughts on those two teams? Well, they're, they're both of them bring a lot of uh, players back from last season. And they're, you know, they're very comparable to us. Uh, they both have some good guards out there. They're going to set a lot of uh, ball screens that we've been working on. But they're, they're both going through some new co young coaches as well. So they're, they're getting better day by day. And, and like Coach said, we just got to get better ourselves. We can only worry about ourselves and controlling what we do. And then when we step on the court, we'll be prepared to take them on and, and uh, do what we do best. All right, uh, Marnie, um, let's, let's talk about uh, your, the conference this year. What are, what are your thoughts on the conference? The Great Lakes about the conference? Well, I think the conference is a great conference. It's very competitive. There's a lot of parity in it, so we're excited to get underway with it and kind of see how we match up. But there's a lot of great coaches in this league, and there's a lot of great teams, and I think it's going to be a battle every night. And I think uh, the team that minimizes mistakes and capitalizes on other teams' mistakes will be the one that comes out in the end. But a lot of parity, so it'll be competitive. And Ben, your thoughts on the men's side of the conference? Well, you've got the defending uh, national championship in Bellarmine uh, with four starters back. Northern Kentucky had just gone, went up to uh, West Virginia and beat them on the road in an exhibition game. Uh, Quincy went over to Drake and beat them. So uh, top to bottom, it's a challenge. you got to bring it every night. Um, it doesn't matter who you're playing or when you're playing or where you're playing. you just got to be ready to compete for 40 minutes every night. Uh, more news in the, the conference with Wesleyan leaving. What are, what are you guys' thoughts on uh, Wesleyan leaving uh, here in the next couple of years? There's been a lot of change in conferences from you know Division One to Division Two. There's there's always going to be change. It's part of athletics, and, and each school's got to do what's best for them. And at this time, they think that's what's best for them, and and we'll just move on and go from there with it. Marty, any thoughts on that one? Uh, kind of what Coach was saying, you know, I think that each university has to look at what's best for them, and you know, they felt like it was in their best interest to make a move. And you know, every conferences change, schools 
bump up or bump down and just got to do what's best for you. Uh, staying in the conference talk, uh, talk about the West Division and what your thought is and where you guys were picked in the West. Um, well, it's a, it's a coach's poll, and you kind of look at what everybody did last year. And, you know, coaches, it's, it's a poll, but what does it mean? Nobody's played a game. Nobody's played against one another. So uh, I don't really worry about the preseason poll. I worry about our kids showing up to work hard for 40 minutes and, and going from there. And, you know, all we can control is how we play. So I don't really get too wrapped up into the polls. And Ben, your thoughts on the West? Uh, it's pretty much like the rest of the conference. You know, Drury's going to have a lot of guys back from a, a squad that was ranked in the top 25. Uh, Missouri St. Louis has gotten better with some uh, some transfers, and Quincy's always going to be good. Uh, Maryville and William and Jewel coming in the conference. It, it's just like any other game. You got to pre prepare it every night and go out there and, and take care of what you can can take care of and, and go from there. And as sports information directors, we often talk. Uh, to each other about uh, our division is better and your division is not very good. Do you guys, as coaches, talk like that? And no, I don't no, think so. I, I think don't. it's just you know the Great Lakes Valley Conference is, was one of the best Division Two conferences out there, and and to have your team represent the national tournament and or any game when they can go out there and compete and represent the conference and re represent us, that's that's a great thing. And we do have several teams ranked in the top twenty-five here in the preseason, um, Marnie. Talk about the, the women that are ranked in, in this conference that uh, that you see are going to be a strong postseason push. Uh, well, Northern Kentucky, obviously, you know they've uh, they're a really good team. You know, Lewis is the defending. I don't think they're ranked right now in the preseason, but they're defending conference champions, and I think uh, they'll be competitive again. You know, Quincy was receiving votes, but you know they've got some changes as far as how their program is with the new head coach. So. Um, it's it's nice to have those teams in the top 25. It, again, it shows the competitiveness of the league. And Ben? Well, Bellarmine's got, like I said, four starters back from the national championship team. Uh, Southern Indiana, Kentucky, Westland, Northern Kentucky, Drury. I mean, top to bottom. It, you could take any team out of ours and, and play, compete against one another every night. and You can have a different winner each game. And that's, that's the beauty of college athletics in our conference. All right, guys, I want to thank you for, for joining us today. And uh, we will be back next week. You're watching the UIS Prairie Stars Culture Show on Campus Channel 65.